There's something really spooky in here. <laughs> what did I tell you? <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the Pumpkin Patch. I'm your host James Moser and today we are stopping at America's favorite guest stop. I mean, that's what they call it. We are stopping by Cracker Barrel. And I can hear you right now already in the comments saying, James, this is just a trick so that you can go drink things out of mason jars and uh, play the little golf tee peg game. But no, Cracker Barrel is one of the first places to roll out good quality Halloween merch. So ride with us as we check out Halloween at Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel Old Country Store. Basically, if you've never been to a Cracker Barrel, it's a restaurant and an old style, old school general store. Uh, but as you see here, we're right up at the front there. They have Halloween costumes. They're all little girl costumes and they all lean, you know, princessy. Uh, nothing for little boys, at least not yet. And we got Grogu uh, rocking a Mandalorian jack-o'-lantern for what le looks to be about, uh, 35 bucks. Uh, it's pretty good, but it obviously is marked indoor, and if you leave that outside, I'll probably steal it. Uh, some glow-in-the-dark skull gloves. We got a couple of t-shirts. They're all about $15. We got two different styles of Snoopies. We got a great pumpkin and a mummy, and a Jack Skellington shirt earlier. I actually have a shirt that has this exact same, uh, Snoopy pattern, the Great Pumpkin Believer. It would match that hat perfectly. Uh, we got a Coco Vinyl for $20. Kind of unexpected, but really nice. All right, we got, uh, I don't know if that's Peppa Pig or Peppa Pig's best friend, or uh, I don't know anything about Peppa Pig. Uh, we got some Minion stuff. We got this uh, dog that sings I Want Candy. I did not hit it because I don't want a copyright strike against me, but it was $20. It, we got Scooby-Doo Playmobil. We got Exit the Game. I think maybe that's an RPG. And then we got this awesome piece of work right here that just plays just plays sounds. But they're all spooky sounds. I would carry that with me year-round. I can't tell you how many batteries I'd go through. A lot of triple A's. And it's only seven bucks. Uh, they got a line of uh, Dia de los Muertos this year with the, the sugar skull look, but they got it on owls, and then they have that all on cups, plates, salt and pepper shakers. Uh, that kind of doesn't fit, but look at this throw. This throw is only $20, and it glows in the dark, which is really good for a throw. At least I think so. Here's one of those awesome sugar skull style owl cups, nine dollars. Uh, all of the cups ended up being nine dollars. All the plates were seven dollars. Uh, they got a lot of different things here. Uh, and the trucks, again with the trucks. What's up with Halloween 2021 trucks? Memo. We got a good witch, bad witch tumbler here. Uh, Fourteen dollars dishwasher safe. These things were great. I couldn't. There was no testers out, so I couldn't tell you if they smell like candy corn. But hand soap and hand lotion. I almost brought these home. These things are awesome. Uh, I love the uh, acrylic-looking uh, paintings. These are just printed on, though. They're not actually acrylic painted. Um, those are awesome. <laughs> Gargoyle Candelabra. Uh, and this beauty right here, this guy. There was a projection for it, but it was kind of hard to... to this was very hard to record. Uh, but evidently it projects uh, little bats and ghosts on the ceiling. Uh, this guy right here is going to get somebody sued. Uh, 
foolish mortals. Yeah. <laughs> Disney about to sue somebody. Uh, tea towels. Uh, this is uh, $7, but there's only one. Uh, tea towels are kind of expensive. Uh, and this is the animated broom. It's thirty dollars. I had, I thought I had a video of it actually going around making noises and doing things, but I obviously didn't hit record because I, I can't find that video. So, but here's a video of it just sitting there. Uh, some keychains, which I thought that was pretty nice for a keychain. Although I wouldn't want to fall on my keys with that. Uh, I got some jewelry. They also have some shirts. Uh, they had the regular t-shirts, and occasionally Cracker Barrel has shirts, but I didn't realize they were $35 a piece. That's pretty pricey for this. A uh, little plush for babies. Uh, and then some clothing, uh, kids' clothing, but it's all little girls. Uh, again, there's no little boy outfits here, at least not at this location, and at least, at least not now. But look at this thing. This thing is gorgeous. This globe with a spider, and it's that beautiful orange. I really want one of these, so bad. I wish that the spider wasn't on the top, but I love it. Gotta get one. Uh, this little swirling vortex bottle was pretty nice. I love the little scarecrows on it. Thought that was pretty cool. And I definitely need to get one of these. Just slap that over uh, your pre-existing uh, light switches in the house. Uh, I'm gonna have one in every room. Uh, these are hand puppets, but I couldn't find a price, and they were also very weird and kind of like just off-putting. I, I don't know. I'm not a fan. A little bit more of the uh, sugar skulls and this blanket thing. I don't know what this guy is. You tell me. Dishwasher safe. Uh, and this thing right here is much more beautiful in person than it is on video. It's just, it's beautiful. And I can imagine that in a dark room. It's gorgeous. And there you have a pumpkin patch. Amazing Halloween items at Cracker Barrel in stores right now. Being in the upstate of South Carolina, stopped in in the Simpsonville location off of Grandview Drive. The employees there were absolutely amazing. Uh, Donovan helped us out a lot. An amazing employee. Cracker Barrel, if you're watching, give this cat a raise. Wonderful employees, wonderful selection of things. Everything was working in the store. I loved all of the items. And in fact, I had to force myself to leave so that I didn't spend a lot of money in there. But. Donovan did say they're getting more Halloween stuff in and when they do, we'll come on back and then I'll spend a lot of money. So please, if you would, click or treat. That's where you like, share, subscribe, and you ring that notification bell. I don't know why I said it like that. Also, stalk us on all the social media sites and let us know in the comments, where should we go next? We're trying to hit up every place that we possibly can. As you've noticed on the channel, we're starting to increase the number of videos because stores are getting more and more Halloween in. So we hope that you guys are enjoying all this extra content. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for riding with the Fall Horseman, where Halloween lives and fall is forever. And this car needs air conditioning. Oh my God, it's hot.